Hi, my name is Attorney Walter Rudolph Knopf III, and what I'm going to be doing <clears throat> with you today <clears throat> is going over how attorneys get paid, what they get paid. Now, this is not just how attorneys get paid, but it's also non-legal reps. It's also family members and friends who essentially want to uh, get paid for representing you before the Social Security Administration. Always remember that in order to practice law in the United States, you have to have a Juris Doctorate and pass that state's bar exam. Okay. So it's always important to hire an attorney. Very simply put, what do attorneys, non-legal reps, friends and family members want to get paid? How much can they get? 25%, okay, up to 6K, meaning that they can't make any more than $6,000 per claim, okay? That means, uh, there's a little side note for the experts out there, there are, in addition to that, fees Okay, federal appellate level called EJA fees. But for the simple things that we're doing right now, let's just focus on the 25% up to 6K. A lot of people talk about 25% up to 6K, but they never actually describe how that applies to your benefits. This is because I've frankly found from doing seminars, they'll answer and then I'll ask the follow-up question, okay, and how does that apply to the benefits? They have no clue. Let me kind of fill in the gap for you here. I need you to draw a timeline. And on that timeline, I need you to draw a line earlier on in the timeline, that's when you applied. Okay, when you applied for disability. And then what I need you to do is I need you to, farther down that line, draw another line that says found disabled. After that line of being found disabled, I need you to write an F. Between the line of filing for disability and being found disabled, I need you to write a B. And before uh, applying for disability, that filing for disability line, I need you to write an R. So an R goes before that line. The R stands for retroactive benefits. The B stands for back pay. The F stands for forward pay, okay? Forward pay, super fun, exciting. That's when you've been found disabled and every month you get a check. A lot of people refer to that as the disability check. Most people don't get checks nowadays, they get Direct Express, which is like a debit card sent from a bank in California. It's a green card and basically allows you to receive your funds on it and there's a phone number on the back where you can call to find out what funds you're gonna receive for the next month. So let's back it up now between when you file and when you're found disabled, you got your back pay. Back pay. Okay. Back pay essentially represents the time that you're waiting to be found disabled. Okay. For back pay for SSI, you don't count the month in which you're found disabled or the month you file. For SSDI purposes, you don't count the first five months and the month in which you're found disabled. Okay. Retroactive benefits. Those are the benefits I like to call the profit maximizing benefits. Those are if you can prove, going back in time, you were disabled for SSDI purposes, Title II. That essentially you were disabled severely, meet an equal listing, and exceeded, or exceeded rather. And that essentially you, before you filed, should be receiving disability benefits going back in time. Okay, cool, good. We'll go into why they exist, retroactive benefits, and all that stuff later. But for SSI purposes, the Supplemental Security Income Program, retroactive benefits, they don't exist. But let's talk about this. 25% up to 6K. 25% up to 6K, that applies to retroactive benefits and back pay. For forward pay, costs apply. What are attorney costs? Attorney costs can be anything. They can be, for example, okay? Um, Paying for your medical documentation, administrative, vocational, academia, legal. Uh, transportation costs to get you to the hearing, to get you to the office, things like that. One thing just to watch out for that I've been seeing that I think is a little scummy, is some of these attorneys are basically hiring a third party service to transport claimants to their office, okay? And then the claimant will get a bill for like $300, okay? Um, these costs are supposed to be like, you know, the attorney isn't really making money off of it. It's they're, they're, it's something that they have to pay in to win your claim, right? So buying medical evidence, 
paying money to win your claim. They're not making any money out, they're just paying for your medical evidence. But some attorneys, they'll have a transportation service that they happen to own, and they charge way too much to transport you to their office, okay? I understand, you know, sometimes you need to go to the office, you're out of minutes on your minute phone, yada, yada, yada. I don't have a problem with that, but $300 to drive somebody 30 minutes, uh, I don't know about that. You know, I'm pretty sure limo services are probably cheaper than that, so either way. All right, so let's talk about that. We got forward pay, that's the check you're getting every month once you're found disabled. You got back pay from when you start filing to when you're found disabled. Retroactive benefits come before when you file. 25% to 6K. Okay, 25% of each month that you are waiting for retroactive benefits and back pay, minus the two for SSI and potentially the six for SSDI. So what do I mean by that? It means that the longer you have to wait, the more the attorney makes. Pretty crazy, right? So it means that the more months you've got to wait, the more 25% of those months the attorney will collect, which is why some attorneys don't do much work and then basically let you just sit there and sit there and sit there so that they can collect and collect and collect and get that 6K by the time they take you to trial. I don't do that, which is why the law firm has got pretty big pretty fast. Um, but the bottom line is this. Cost, um, you need to pick an attorney uh, and if you pick a non-legal rep, then I don't know why you would do that because they can't even really write legal briefs. They haven't been trained on it. But the bottom line is if you pick somebody, pick somebody, okay, who's going to be fair with costs because the 25% to 6K is by statute. So that's not changing. That's going to be the same for each claimant, you know, all the way through. The one thing I want you to understand that's very important is that when you get you know, found disabled, the first check you're likely to get is going to be, I'll get the next spot. The next check you're going to get is usually going to be your back pay check. And if it's a larger check, they can split it up into three total checks over a six month period. And they're limited by statute as to how much they can send you for the first two checks. And then the last check is basically the remainder, okay? So what do I, what do I mean by that? I mean that you're gonna get a check, the first checks you're probably gonna get is your back pay, and then thereafter that you'll get forward pay, okay? So what's important to remember is that there's a structure to how you receive payments. And what you really wanna do is sign up for Direct Express, and I'll explain more what that is in another video, okay? But that's how the 25% up to 6K works. I'm not gonna go into Egypt fees, and now you understand what it's coming from, okay? Retroactive benefits and back pay super important i want to thank you so much for watching remember this video may be old hat by the time you get to it and also remember if you have a unique question for your unique claim give me a call i'll answer it for you all right thanks so much have a wonderful day bye bye